So we're going to play a little game here, you know, hired and fired with players who could be in their positions or coaches okay. who could be in their positions by the end of the year versus who some might that might not be. Uh, we've seen how quarterbacks, when they're young, they could still perform well. Look at Josh Allen. Uh, look at what, obviously, Patrick Mahomes has done. Look at Lamar Jackson, even though his playoff performances haven't really hit the mark just yet. Uh, hired or fired by the end of the year? Dwayne coach. Haskins as the starting quarterback oh, of the quarterback. Washington football team. Well, and we'll get to the head coaches too. Oh, there's something to talk about. <laughs> hired or fired, man. I go. I'm gonna go Haskins, man. I mean, his coach came well, out. Well, hired or fired. You gotta pick one. You can't be both, right? <laughs> fired. <laughs> Haskins okay. fired early. I mean, his coach got a guy from Carolina who he trusts, who came in and won some games for him, and he came out on wax and he told everybody. If this guy don't start playing ball, man, hey, he gonna be out of there. So he kind of put the pressure on him. He let it be. He let it be known that you know, you don't play no ball, you'll be out of there, man. So, you know, some guys respond good to that. Some guys don't respond as well to that, man. It's it's it's, it's a morale thing, man. Football is so much. It's a team sport. It's a it's a vibe. It's a momentum. It's a morale sport. So if the morale is not there. If the if the coach and the and the quarterback is not on the same page, man, it can go left quick, man. So I say one or two more decent games from Haskins. They gonna try. They gonna try Allen, man. Allen done won some games. He know the offense, and they have him in there quick. See if they can get a spark. Okay, I, I, right now the way the NFC East is, it's still wide open, and that's because Carson Wentz hasn't looked too good. We got to get to that Thursday night football game. So I'm gonna try and make it quick here. Hired or fired as a starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles with Jalen Hurts potentially ah. taking his spot. Carson Wentz, hired or fired? I'm going to say I'm gonna say Carson going to stay hired, man. Uh, his resume, you know what I'm saying? Your resume, what you did in the past, it speaks volumes, man. So he had those runs where he was one of the top quarterbacks in the league. So, you know, with that being said, your leash, your leash is a lot longer. So, man, he got more games. He got five or six games to keep fucking up before he get fired. <laughs> so right now he hired, man. Haskins lease is a little bit shorter. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hired. I'm gonna go hired with uh with uh Philly. Okay, so fired Dwayne Haskins, hired Carson Wentz. Yes, sir. I think I know I think I know how Atlanta Falcons fans feel after another week of another disappointing loss. This time to Chicago Bears at home. Dan Quinn as head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, hired or fired? Ah, it's another one of those situations where your resume, where your resume speaks volumes. You know what I'm saying? So, I think I don't, I don't, I don't think they're gonna fire. I mean, it's nothing gonna be in season. If anything, it's gonna be after the season. As of right now, man, they're gonna let him ride it out. They're gonna let him do what he do. Uh, I don't think it's damn. I don't think it's Dan Quinn. Honestly, man, it's the offense got to finish, man. Y'all got to finish those games. Y'all up 16 points. They still throwing the ball on second down. Y'all should have learned that back with Shanahan. Run the ball, run the ball, and, you know, if you don't got no third down, take another second. Just let the clock go. You're up 16 points. Two touchdowns and two two-point conversions, man. Uh, you got to find a way to get that done, man, in my opinion. So I think Dan Quinn's safe, man. Keep calling. Keep calling the players. Keep calling the defense. I think his resume make his leash a lot longer. He, he, got, he got positive wins. He got positive plays in the league. So his leash is a lot longer, man. I go higher. Okay, and our last one, before we get to uh, Thursday Night Football, and it will lead us into that, actually. Uh, one of the more disappointing teams, I mean, damn, football in New York is disappointing right now, I must say. Man. Uh, Adam Gase, head coach of the New York Jets. If they lose this game against the Denver Broncos on Thursday Night Football, does he still have a job by week five? Uh, maybe week five, but week six, week seven, man, it, it might be an interim situation in place. So I'm going fired. Uh, man, Gase, I played with him. I, I know what type of guy he is. I know his, you know, his, his jokes. He's a, he's always in the locker room joking with the guys. He competitive. He talk, he talks shit in practice, but man, it's like I said, your resume speaks volumes and he really hasn't had those wins in New York yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's been lo losing season after losing season. And this is just another losing season for them. You know what I'm saying? So one winning season, one 10 and six or five and 11 season, a, a, a stretch out that leash so long. 
He hasn't had that. So, man, I say one or two or three more losses in a row, Gates is out of there, man. I, I, that's my dog, too, man. Shout out Adam Gates, man. You my partner. I fuck with you the long way. You know that. But you got to get some dubs, baby, or you're going to be gone, man. Straight up.